Snellgrove wears a Red Sox jersey, and so does his young grandson. But for years, Rick and Diane Snellgrove didn't feel much like fans. I can't help feeling that that I have been um, I, I cheated. In 2004, celebrations turned to riots after the Red Sox beat the Yankees to make it to the World Series. Tori Snellgrove, a 21-year-old Emerson College student, was in the crowd when she was hit in the eye by a shot from a pellet gun fired by Boston police. It really shouldn't have been used. The Snellgrove say they are satisfied with changes Boston police made after their daughter's death. They stopped using that kind of pellet gun and took a softer approach to crowd control. The Snellgrove say what bothers them now is how little fan behavior has changed. Other areas, there's been some pretty crazy things mm. that have gone on, mm. you know, with kids celebrating. So it'd be uh, nice if it was Boston strong, Boston smart. Boston, yeah, right. You know, um, and celebrate, enjoy, but just be responsible. With settlement money from the city and the gun manufacturer, the Snellgroves started a foundation that today funds scholarships and so far has built six parks and playgrounds. The first kids who played on this playground are now about the age that Tori was when she died. And her parents say they can't help but wonder from time to time what her life would have become. I wanted my daughter. I yeah, wanted yeah. to see her flourish. Now the parents of Tori Snellgrove want her life and death to be a reminder that no win on the field is worth this kind of loss. In East Bridgewater, David Beening, WCVB, News Center 5.